सो द क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी एट बाय ब्लोइंग बिटवीन टू बैलून्स हैंगिंग क्लोज टू ईच अदर यू ऑब्जर्व दैट दे मे कम क्लोजर ए सिमिलर फिनोमिना इज सीन इन यू नो वाई दे आर कमिंग क्लोज टू ईच अदर बिकॉज ऑफ द बर्नोलीज लॉ सो अकॉर्डिंग टू द बर्नोलीज लॉज according to the bernoulli's law the pressure difference is the cause of two balloon comes together means outside pressure is greater as compared to the inside pressure so the pressure difference pressure difference is the cause of two balloon cause of to balloon balloon closer the similar phenomena is happening when the lifting of aeroplane so the lower portion is higher pressure and the upper portion is the lower pressure and that's why the aeroplane is lift up so first answer is correct the aeroplane is lift up now in the case of question number 29 a stone tied to a string is whirled in a circle as it is revolved the string the suddenly breaks the stone then as we know in the circular motion in the circular motion motion the direction of velocity is always tangentially outward the direction of velocity is tangentially outward so when the string is break it will follow the stone will follow the path to flying of tangentially in the question number 30 a person moves a certain distance in a time if 1 by 3 of distance is covered in 2 by 3 of the time and with the speed v1 and the rest of 2 by 3 is in 1 by 3 of the time with the speed v2 then find v1 upon v2 is so let us consider whatever is given in the question first in the first is given in the d by 3 let us say total distance is d so in the d by 3 d by 3 the time is taken is twice t by 3 therefore v1 is equal to v1 is equal to d by 3 upon twice t by 3 and we'll get it what is the values of v1 and it is equal to d upon twice t and in the next case is given where the distance is twice d by 3 and time is given t by 3 therefore v2 is equal to twice d by 3 upon t by 3 so we'll get it what is it is equal to twice d upon t so let us take the ratio of v1 upon v2 will get it so v1 upon v2 is equal to d upon twice t and twice d upon t so we'll get it the ratio is 1 by 4 so answer b is correct okay in the next question question number 31 in this case first in an experiment it was observed that when the length of the wire in an electrical circuit is double everything else remaining same the current becomes half on the other hand if the thickness or the diameter of the wire is double the current becomes four times so this theme are given is uh, for the r is equal to rho into l upon a it means it is related to the indirectly resistance as we know r is equal to r is equal to rho l upon a 
means resistance is directly proportional to the length and indirectly proportional inversely proportional to the area of cross section of the wire this is the given in the questions now what is the question now started question at uh, this place uh, where written is two wire so two wire w and wt of the same metal length same metal and have the same current passing through them what is w two wire w and wt of the same metal have the same current passing through them the thickness of the wire w2 is twice that of the w1 then the length of the wire w2 is so here uh, the row is same at the same time because two wire has the same current passing through them so it means same current passing through them means if i say i1 is equal to i2 and also we know i is equal to v upon r so if i take if voltage are given in both the cases are same so it is v upon r1 is equal to v upon r2 so it means r1 is equal to r2 it shows what is if r1 is equal to r2 it means uh, if uh, as i have written here rho into l upon a so rho is specific heat of the metal because both of the metals are the same it means specific heat, heat are the same so i write here rho into l1 upon a1 is equal to rho into l2 upon a2 now you can see here so l1 upon l2 l1 upon l2 is equal to a1 upon a2 and because of the width is double it means diameter is double so if diameter is double the area is four time because the diameter square is the area so let us say initial area is a now the width is double thickness is double it means the area is a four times of a so a a is cancel out we'll get it length l1 is equal to l1 is equal to l2 by 4 or the if needed length of the second is asking here so l2 is equal to four times of l1 so the length of the wire w2 is equal to four times of the length of the wire w1 so it is answer is your second now in question number 32 here you can see in all the cases as a circuit is shown in the diagram the circuit is not completed none of the bulb will glow you can see here i'll just mark for you this is open this is also open and this is also open it means we need to complete the circuit uh, if you are moving from here to here uh, by this way if you are going from here to here and if you are coming here to here but you will stop here why because these two are open it means the circuit cannot complete in any way and if you go from here to here then again here is open so you cannot go further so in any circuit anywhere the circuit is not completed it means none of the bulb will glow the answer is your 4 next question number 33 a printed page is seen through a glass slip on it the printed words appear raised this is due to as we know as you have seen in many places if you are is in the pond and if you uh, throw a coin the coin is raised up why because of the refraction but the refraction is of the two surface so the lower surface the refraction of the the lower surface is in the contact of the object the lower surface is in the contact of object therefore it is not possible to the refraction by the lower surface because the refraction needs some depth as you looks in the water some depth are there that's why the coins are raised up so what will happen the refraction is due to the upper surface the refraction is due to the upper surface so answer first is correct 
Now, in the case of question number 34, two mirrors are placed at right angles to each other as shown in the figure. The total number of images of an object O placed between them are seen. Okay, if the image is if the object is is in the between is in the between the two plane mirror then number of images is equal to images is equal to 360 upon theta minus 1 so you can see angle theta in between the mirror are given 90 degree so upon 90 minus 1 so you will get it 4 minus 1 it means 3 so it shows the 3 is your answer so 3 images will be formed now in the question number 35 there are the column first and second we have to match which one is the correct now I'll say brief about in every point for second third and fourth in the first point the what is the given here the going up an inclined plane is more tiring than walking on the horizontal plane there are the two phenomena is happening here if you go in the upward what will happen because of due to the gravitational force the gravitational force always pull to you towards the ground so in the case of first the concept are here what is because of going up we have to do extra work against the pull by the gravity so we have to do we have to do extra work against the gravitational force now if the force is increased definitely we have to do more work that's why we tire so the answer first is what C now the next is given it is what it is difficult to inflate a balloon beyond a certain point it's because it's very clear in the case of the second what is because of maximum pressure capacity is excess it means what the maximum capacity of the balloon is there if you access that capacity of the pressure inside the balloon then the balloon will not be in that position it will burst so it is very difficult to inflate it a balloon beyond a certain point because the it has a certain capacity a maximum air capacity to so because balloon has maximum air pressure capacity capacity maximum air capacity so uh, because balloon has maximum air pressure capacity air pressure capacity is now when you insert the pressure more then what will happen so insert pressure more then inside pressure inside air apply the force that's why it is difficult to inflate a balloon beyond a certain point now third point walk on a sandy beach is more tiring than walking on a road it means when you walk on the sandy bridge walk on sandy beach the friction is increases the friction the friction is increases and at the same time at the same time the reaction force the reaction force the reaction force on the direction force by the earth is less as compared to as compared to walking on a road on a road 
so definitely friction is responsible for this so third is what d now last one is very clear to all of you as you know you hangs of the any magnetic needle it will stationary in the direction of the north south it means the magnetic force is the responsibility of this the earth magnetic force is responsible to stay in the north south direction so here in the case of fourth the earth the earth magnetic force is responsible responsible for north south direction north south direction of magnetic needle now in the question number 36 of the following statement choose the correct statement so it is very easy if you know the basic phenomena of the friction because of in any lubrication the friction is reduces we know this basic concept so as we know the basic concept of the lubrication is what because of the lubrication the friction is reduces so in all the options you can see this concept are applied here so as we understand this basic concept basic concept of lubrication is reduce friction so in the case of first option grease is used to reduce the friction in a bicycle chain it is very correct in the case of second ball bearing are used to reduce friction in a fan ball bearing is also reduce the friction because of in the second case in the b case why because of the rolling friction is smaller than any other friction rolling friction is smaller smaller then any other friction so here is ball bearing are used to reduce the friction in a fan this is also correct now the third answer oil can be used to increase friction in a car engine this is not correct why because in the case of oil if increase the friction at as i told you the basic concept of lubrication is reduce the friction means any type of lubrication when you use it reduce the friction in case of c the oil is increase the friction this is the wrong answer and the third fourth one is top can be used to reduce the friction when object is sliding on the surface this is also be correct answer because of the as you work as you play on the carrom board you can find the friction is reduced when you uh, when you pour or the water the top means powder on the surface of the carrom so the friction is reduced with the help of top so answer uh, here correct is uh, c so we need a correct statement so a b d are the correct statement so one statement is the correct and the next question if one put one's ear to the steel rail the sound of coming trains can be heard even when the train cannot be seen one can conclude from this observation that 
so uh, we know the basic concept of the sound sound travels faster in steel than air sound travel faster in steel than air similarly sound can travel longer distance than air sound can travel travel longer distance in steel as compared to air now in question number 38 decibel db is a unit of loudness it is defined in manner when amplitude of sound is multiplied by factor of root 10 this is given it means the decibel increases the unit 10 so if amplitude if amplitude increases by root 10 then decibel increases by 10 so in this case what is given and what is is next question in this case loud music db is being played at the function reduces the loudness of here is not print i'll write here so 30 db uh, uh, reduces the loud of 30 db and it is given here the original sound is 70 db so what we have to do we have to reduce 70 db are given and we have to reduce till 30 db it means the difference is 40 db are here so it means 40 db we need to be reduced and how much amplitude we have to reduce is uh, because of in the case of root 10 into root 10 into root 10 into root 10 four times we are getting the 100 so if we reduce the amplitude in 100 then the 40 db is reduced because we know the factor of amplitude is increase at root 10 then decibel is increased by 10 and this is the multiply factor so root 10 root 10 so if you increase the amplitude if you reduce the amplitude by 100 the 40 decibel is reduces this is our answer Now in the case of question number 39 given that there is a relationship between the orbital radius of a planet and the period of revolution that the period of revolution of mercury earth jupiter neptune are 0.241118 and 165 year it follows that the period of revolution of uranus is less than 165 year but more than 12 years so ye uh, this is the answer of fourth are correct this is theoretical answer you must know follow there the period revolution uranus is less than 165 year but more than 12 years and one more answer is correct is mars is also less than 12 years so basically the b and d both are correct now lunar eclipse occurs when earth comes between sun and moon solar eclipse occur when the moon comes in between the earth this suggests that it is the due to the solar eclipse occurs on a new moon day lunar eclipse on the full moon days so this is the this suggests that solar eclipse occur in a new moon day and lunar eclipse occur on the full moon day it means one in day is the new moon and another is the full moon so this is be the answer two is the correct answer